there are a lot of coasters out there, and because of that, it means that some won't always turn out quite that great. Today, let's take a look at more coasters like that so we can really find the most cursed coasters on the internet. Before I start, a huge thanks goes to uh, the Cursed Coasters and Flats YouTube channel as they provided a ton of the clips for this video and it was insanely helpful to have them. So huge thanks to them, go subscribe, check out their videos, really, really cursed content but it's definitely worth a watch. Alright, so I have set up a playlist for this video, so now I'm just going to be going through one by one and watching some cursed coasters and giving my reaction. Some of these I have seen before, some of them I have not, and so I'll be completely honest, if I've seen it before, you'll know, and you'll know that it's not like my real first reaction, but with that said, I'm terrified, let's get into it. So first we have speed. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Okay, so those loops, you know, pre pretty intense, but not, not that crazy. But that turn is unbanked. That's a sharp drop. Hmm. Okay, I see why it's called speed. So this is pretty average. It's it's a, it's a generic arrow knockoff, but yikes. <laughs> so based on the title of this one, I'm assuming that it's just gonna run insanely fast. Because the title is Thuzi's Be Like, at least it's got good laterals though. So my assumption is it's gonna run insanely fast, and yep, that is a uh, that is a correct assumption as this is just flying around on bank turns. That stop, wild mouse who Alright, so next up we have a fun little backyard coaster that a family made. You know, props to them. They made a backyard coaster, not everyone can do that. But you know, it might have been able to be done a, a little bit better than it was. <laughs> I love it, it's just a straight corner at every change in direction. Like, it's just no easing into it whatsoever. It's so stupid. Like, that's gotta hurt. You gotta be slamming back into the seat every time. Oh, that is not good. That, mmm. Oh, no, I'll pass. I don't want to ride that. Okay. So, this next one, I have seen this before. And I've seen it multiple times. And every time, I have the exact same reaction. So, I've seen this before, but this is still my very genuine reaction. Because there's just no way that this should be allowed to exist. There's, there's just no way. So first of all, I'm assuming he was told to do this for some safety reason, but he's sitting crisscross applesauce. I don't know if you've ever sit in crisscross applesauce on a coaster. Probably not, because restraints don't allow for that, but that's not how you generally want to ride a coaster. So, uh, oh my gosh, the turns. The turns are so janky. For those of you complaining about having a Batman the Ride clone at your home park, you could have a worse invert. Then you go up a second lift hill just to be forced to do it all again. I can't even tell if it's a suspended coaster or an inverted coaster. I think it's just an invert. Because it looks like the track is banky. So the track is just like literal planet coaster in real life it's so janky oh my gosh i feel so bad for the guy on this that first half it's just zooming through that's not safe there's no way this is safe right like am i wrong there's, there's no way that's safe all right moving on from that monstrosity we're going to a african roller coaster push I've also seen this one before, and it is incredible, so well, I'll let you enjoy this one. You know, pretty generic kitty coaster, kind of tight on bank turn there, but you know, nothing too bad. And it needs a little push 
But you know, it makes it over with the push. Oh, it's not gonna make it over that. <laughs> Let's push it some more. They say it's a credit if it runs on gravity. Does this count as running on gravity? I don't know. Jungle mouse setting unreasonable speeds. Oh boy. <laughs> Another wild mouse running a little too fast. Is that what I'm about to see? Oh, we got one trainer and going around the circuit already. That doesn't look that fast. Oh, I take that back. All right, let's watch this train. Let's watch this train. Pretty chill. Oh no, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Yo, it's hauling. Imagine a night ride on that. She, that's insane. Oh, that's laterals. Legend who? Okay. High key, it looks kind of fun. Not gonna lie. Knockoff rides are so weird, dude. I don't understand. Who who comes up with knockoff rides? And also, why is it a theme with knockoff rides? That it either runs way too slow or way too fast. Can they just not figure out what the friction multiplier is supposed to be set at? It's not that hard. Isn't like 0.7 the realistic point? Maybe they're going like 0.3 or 2. Alright, so next up we got this uh, this slingshot coaster here. It is literally a slingshot. Oh, it slingshots it back too. This literally is a backyard coaster. You can't change my mind. I just don't get it, honestly. I just don't get why you would make that. So, next up, I, I have seen this before, but if you haven't, then that's your problem. But this is a tsunami which is a huge huge Schwarzkopf looping coaster and actually it looks amazing like this looks like such an incredible ride when it existed I would have loved to have ridden this I think the reason why it's on this playlist is because it has an incredibly cursed loop shaping but regardless of the loop shaping, it actually looks so intense, but so fun. I would absolutely love to get on this thing. Okay, so this is an official concept, like not knockoff, like a real company made this. This is a uh, Fabry's Speed Racer. This is 2019, by the way, this is like recent. And this was a concept that they made for parks. So it starts with a launch, and then it goes into bricks. You know, I thought we were at the point where we figured out that you want a launch to go into a layout, but bricks work too, I guess. And then you go up an elevator lift into the layout portion. You know, the layout portion isn't after the, the launch, it's after the elevator lift. So you go down this drop, and then you got just a nice double loop, and then an insanely fast heartline roll because a launch into brakes wasn't crazy enough. So just, why would you get this? I mean, nobody has, but I don't know what Fabry engineer came up with this one night and said, let's make it, but props to you. You designed one of the weirdest roller coasters I have ever seen. Oh boy, we got Russian train. I've seen this one before. I haven't seen a POV of this before, which is next, but I've seen off-ride, and this is an interesting ride. It also brings up a, another knockoff coaster theme, which is insanely slow lift hills. Like, is it too hard to make gears spin faster? I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't see how it could be that difficult. But, you know, I, I'm not designing roller coasters, so maybe I shouldn't talk, but... And this is another one that, like, it gets super fast, and then the friction is just set at 5. Okay, you drop, you got your loop, and then the ride is over. And, uh, I mean, just very very strange I mean it's I don't know <laughs> I don't know who thought 
this would be something that would be like a great ride to make but it exists now so okay so here we have russian train pov and i am actually so excited for this because i've never seen a pov of this ride before and it looks pretty cursed off right already and so i can only imagine how cursed a pov is like what is the shaping of this track gonna be like all right so top of the lift hill looking around that nice desert around you cool oh they have a wild mouse here too i wonder what that's like probably not as great as this standard turn not that bad oh that's an interesting trend oh the drop oh the shaping <laughs> it's so cursed what is this shaping that is shaping they could not keep this track straight for the life of them oh i can't imagine the head banging because you know there's got to be a wheel gap there too oh that ride has to hurt oh Whew. all right so now we have our big finale which is the cool and fresh knockoff Cool and fresh, not cursed enough, it got a knockoff. If you don't know what cool and fresh is, go look it up, it is worth your time. And then come back and we'll watch this together. This is arguably, this could be the steepest drop ever. It's defunct now, so it's not operating, obviously, but if it was, it would have the steepest drop. But uh, let's just enjoy this because it's. Uh, it's really an incredible creation. No! Oh, the loop is a balloon getting squished. The drop has no trims. Cool and Fresh actually has like trims to make it safe. And this just threw that out the window. Oh, oh gosh. What an incredible creation they have made. I am just astounded by its beauty. But with that absolutely amazing way to end off this video, that is the end of this video. So if you enjoyed, please do leave a like as it does help me with the algorithm. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this. This is a video type that I'm pretty uncomfortable with just because I've never really done too much with... Uh, showing my face for like the whole video before so just something new for me and uh if you liked it let me know though and i'll try to include more of this in my uh schedule give me some video ideas that you'd like to see me make if you uh have any and i'll see you next time goodbye